Hey guys, so we are at the Philadelphia Regionals. I have with me Alex Chermansky. And what place did you get? Uh, top 8. Awesome. And what were you playing today? Uh, Buzzwold Garbador. Buzzwold Garb, which was a very uh, favorable match uh, throughout the board because a lot of people expected it to come out and just destroy yeah. lots of GX decks and it did well for you. You got top 8, which yeah. is amazing. So we're going to get into the 60 cards that you were playing and see what you were running. So for Boswell, like the Boswells are obviously the main attackers like early mid game. You lead with Boswell generally. Um, yeah, pretty standard. Nice. I uh, played three Garbodor instead of the generally accepted two because I expected to play more mirror match and Garbodor is probably the best attacker in mirror match. Uh, pretty rubbish, obvious. Yeah, for the consistency and yep. for you to be able to evolve your Garbodors. Yep. Uh, just played 2 2 Macargo. That's just like the draw engine of the deck. And basically, searching any card in this format is really good. It's pretty yeah. broken. Um, and it helps you set up and helps you pull off combos and stuff like that. And the Guru, just to help draw the card that I put with, on top with Macargo, yeah. is just pretty much a staple in most decks nowadays. Nice. Uh, I played the Sudowudo as a Zor counter. It helps against Malamar too. Um, yeah, limits their bench pretty good. I, that's kind of like a tech that only like a few players ran this weekend. How did you feel about the Sudo Wudo? Uh, I felt like it was really strong. Like, I probably would have lost games without it. So, so it was a great choice yep. this weekend. Nice. And just one Diane C as my uh, as a damage modifier for Buzzwell. Doing Ooh. more damage is good. Uh, I played four Cynthia, just pretty much a staple in everything nowadays because there's not many other draw supporters. Uh, yeah, so I just played two Lily. Uh, this obviously turn one really strong, but it also allows me to draw cards I put on top with Macargo. Mm -hmm. So that's just really important in this deck. Right. Uh, I chose to play three Guzma. Could have played four, probably should have, but do you think he's good enough. Do you think four would have changed no. your placement? Just like would have been better. Nice. Uh, played three Kakui. Fourth again would have been really strong. Uh, extra damage and drawing a card I put on top with Macargo is really good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I played one Judge, and just like for the turn one Tempest, Stevens Resolve, etc., like it's just really good as disruption. Yeah, to throw your opponent off. So, I played two Choice Bands. Um, four was probably the standard. Yeah. And I just, I thought I was going to play a lot more Buzzwell Garbodor, so I just thought two less items, two less useless cards that I can put. So I just cut down, I cut down the two. I don't really regret it. Um, I played four Shrine of Punishments. Standard. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, for this deck. Like, damage. Played two Rescue Stretchers, just like, get back when, like Garbodor, like in Mirror Match, I probably would have used four times if possible. So like getting back Garbodor is super strong. Right. Um, played two Switch. Again, without like float zone in the format, switch is like really good for like Guzma plays and cargo. Like, yeah, uh, three acrobike. Uh, again, drawing cards, my cargo puts on top. Just four would be nice, just not enough space. Right. The deck is really tight when it comes to like cards you're running. Mm -hmm. uh, four ultra ball. Just the consistency uh, yeah. for you to be able to get what you need. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and three nest ball. I just I just played three because I never felt the need to play the fourth, and space was tight. And do you feel more comfortable with playing three since like Bridget's out of the format and stuff like that? We don't have Professor Elm yet, mm -hmm. so. I mean, I was somewhat uncomfortable doing it, but it felt necessary for like my game plan. So, cool. Uh, four rainbow. It's pretty um, standard. Anything can attack with it. You can use it with Buzzwalt, you can use it with Garb, so yeah. Uh, you can also use Magma Ring, right? Uh, but four fighting instead of the normal five or six. Um, no good reason for this, just... It just made sense. It just was easy, like, I never miss energy for the most part when I needed it, so... It didn't punish me at all, so that felt fine. Played one Psychic Energy just as a fifth Garbodor energy. Um, Again, super important for mirror match and psychic stuff. And the one beast energy, just making Buzzwell do more damage. I took 
really big knockouts today with Beast Energy doing like 200 damage. Dang, nice. All right guys, so that was the 60 cards right there. All right guys, so that was the deck profile right there. What was one of your toughest matches of the weekend? Uh, toughest matches? Um, probably the one against Xander and on stream actually, uh, the Bayonet Zork thing. It that was hard. Felt really hard. Yeah. Like it was winnable, but it's not favorable. Okay. What was one of your like MVP plays of the weekend? Um, one of your favorite favorite plays that you did this weekend? Probably the same match. I dropped Choice Man, Beast Energy, Shrine. Diancy Kakui, I think, to knock out a Bayonet GX and wow. one shot, which... Busted. Yeah, that was like probably my best play. Nice. Cool. And then, are you going to be going to any other regionals soon? Um, I'm going to probably whatever's next. Yeah. Like Memphis. Yeah, Memphis. and definitely Memphis. Perfect. So with Memphis coming up, we will be switching over because of Dragon Majesty. Do you feel that this deck still has potential even though Dragon Majesty is coming into rotation? Uh, definitely. Dragon Majesty, like, not many things change. Like, GXs will still be huge. Like, Shrine is super strong still. And one prizes are always good, so... Nice. And do you have any predictions of any decks that might do well once the rotation happens? Oh, no. Um, Zork. Zork. Malamar variants and probably some some sort of shrine variant. Nice. Cool. Perfect. Alex, thank you for being on the channel. It was a pleasure to have you. With that said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video with anybody that wants to know what got top eight at Philadelphia Regionals. With that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.